Aye. Any nays? Motion carries. Request to enter a one year online sales agreement with Justin. Okay, I had notes. Sam couldn't be here to talk about this. Uh, this web store, it's a link on our website that goes to a web store that is school clothes accessories um, for the state of Benefit County on them. The mm -hmm. high school will get a portion of the proceeds, all the commissions. Uh, she would like them to be able to go into the high school guidance account. And they're providing $25, $25 promotional gift cards as well as $800, $10 promotional gift cards for the web store purchases to the school. They would like to add that to our website so that uh, people can purchase stuff. That's good because we, we don't really have a place to buy school pride shirts and we know it's hard to find them sometimes. So and nobody's really doing that as a fundraiser. Why Club had done that for a couple of years selling. So not that I'm aware of. Okay. And this will go for the guidance customer, so this will be the money that she uses well, to take the trip. That was just a suggestion. Mm -hmm. You guys decide where the money goes, or you can just yes. not decide and it can go in the general fund. I know that uh, guidance field trips when she got takes them to school and stuff like that, they, mm -hmm. they are costly. Mm -hmm. and she had a grant that she used to use, but that grant. Yeah, yeah. Kentucky gets on. Yeah. And this may also help students you know, purchase ACT registration for folks that may not be able to afford yeah. yeah. or opportunities if she can have your waiver. I, I think it would be a great idea to put into that because I know that she always takes them to visit colleges and, mm -hmm. and uh, universities <laughs> and tech schools and whatever the kids are interested in. And, so I, I would be perfectly fine with allowing this money to go for that. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I make a motion to approve the request to enter one year on one sales agreement with Jostens and have that money go into the guidance counselor account. Possible. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? Motion carries. Possible addition of high school or sorry, volleyball program at Newby High School. Wire to come present. Uh, I think this is part of the title line. I want to say. Yes. Um, every year we're required to have uh, the title line survey for students. Uh, it's an annual report which uh, includes all of our financials, anything they can spend in athletics, anything they can award from the school. It goes into the uh, report and we report to them. The, the second part is um, interest of. Um, students, what activities they're interested in, what sports they want to play. So every two years we're required to survey all students 8th grade through 11th grade. So our last survey was 2016 and when we completed the survey we had 56 girls in those grades interested in playing volleyball which was our highest and second uh, football was a close second with 55. So. I would love to get football. <laughs> So um, when I submitted the report, I submitted the numbers, and they kept us in the back, uh, and we failed test three for expansion, so for failure to add a volleyball. Okay. So for this year, my task we had to say was to conduct interest meetings with the students to see if, the, if they would show up based on if the numbers would hold. So we had in-school signups from the middle school and the high school, and I allow students grades 6 through 8 the middle school to sign up because next year they will be eligible to play because they are 7th seventh through 12 are eligible for volleyball or for high school sports. So I had sign ups in school there, and I had 28 girls sign up. So that was middle school only. Uh, we did the same, the same thing at the high school, and we had 26. So your numbers were pretty good. Yeah, numbers held. So total four, uh, 54 girls at that point. <clears throat> so after that, our next step was to have outside of school meetings to see if they would continue to do the outside of paper. So once we got the, uh, we had our first one at the high school open house, so it was only 9 to 11. Mm -hmm. And we had um, 21, just an open house. And they came from and we announced and <coughs> some of them actually ran into the office. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a, our second meeting two weeks later in April. Or right after spring break, and we had 44 students and with, uh, with their parents show up for a volleyball interest meeting. So that information I passed on to KSA today, showing that you know it was valid. You know the, the student interest surveys said we had kids interested. 
and the train continued mostly at the meetings. So, what I'm asking from you all, what's the side base? And I guess the next step is asking guys for permission to move forward, forward with possibly having volleyball in the fall. The thing that I would like to request is, of course, is we're going to have to work with possibly Tobin Enterprises or someone to determine how much the cost of the installing the goalposts mm -hmm. within the gymnasium, I would assume that would be down at the K-8 building possibly. The K-8 already has the, the poles that place the floor. What we have to look at, and I've got to talk to a guy about coming in and actually inspecting to see if the ceiling is high enough to look at duck work rooms across. I don't, I think it might be in a with play. Mm -hmm. So if that's so the So those case, are some of the things that I would caution the board is making sure that we have a place that will be efficient to play or otherwise you may be on the road for a year or so until possibly a, a new school to where you could possibly have that addition to yep. the new elementary school. I did talk with uh, LA County added uh, volleyball two years ago and their estimated cost was six thousand dollars for the entire system to put into the fourth. So you know two years next that was uh, equipment for the net and I think volleyball so they put that together. I've asked for a quote from our rep he has not got the back to me yet. Um, I would recommend to contact Toby by Enterprise. Okay. Oh, they're out of Louisville. They're like, got it. Got it. Oh, okay. Uniforms as well. That'd be possible. Volleyball is very cheap for the concession. And aren't there surrounding counties have volleyball Everybody in the region except for us. Roseville, Holy Family. Uh, so there's plenty of people surrounding this town. I think we're the last region to explore volleyball. Oh, okay. So. The one thing I have with that, I was a little nervous about going into the varsity competition. So, Brown County actually has a freshman slash JV league that plays once a week. Uh, it's a $20 a week fee in our team. We can start there and test the water, see how the kids do, allow them a chance to develop before we go into full varsity play. Yeah. So. Well, there's definitely the interest there for it. Are, are, and I don't even know if you can answer this question. Are, are some of the children that, I don't want to know names, but are they ones that come out haven't played other sports? Maybe this is kind of hitting what, an I'll, area that we haven't hit before, maybe? I don't have the exact numbers. I, it was close to 50% of the numbers I had did not play anything else. Anything else. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's why I was looking at So it would not affect the other sports? It would not affect um, the ball, I soccer? I had a few or? soccer that it could, but they, you know, your dedicated soccer players aren't going to play soccer. Yeah. Uh, we did have some basketball players and some of the kids that played softball, but just a five or six maybe that was soccer. So of the 54, I mean, yeah, there wasn't. Well, there I, wasn't I, just, I was just curious if it was all the kids that competed in all the other sports, or if maybe these were children that didn't do sports or they really wanted to do this. There were several I've ever seen on an athletic floor. Well, okay, that's, that's great. So, I was yeah. the sport I started in when I was in Jackson, probably 10 years ago. Team uh, sport, uh, started Brandon a few years ago. Thank you. I make a motion to approve the possible addition of the volleyball program to Minnie County High School starting next school year. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? Motion carries. Mrs. McGuire, if you would care, bring me back to the quote. Let's see what the cost to get everything implemented where we can do this. Before that yes, way, sir. We can Thank you. Fundraisers. Anyone have any questions on the fundraisers? Because we can get them all together. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? The motion carries. Surplus. Off in the library and media center, and so what does it now? I make a motion to approve all the surplus items listed. Is that correct, Ms. Frank, and all this is from the library and media center? Uh, that's what I'll yes, Ms. Patrick said this, and I do believe Mr. Bice wants to. No, I'm looking. You don't want to. I thought you were going to. He wanted to no, retain the new, the new ink cartridge, but I guess you don't, we don't need it, so we'll do a, a close bid on the surplus. Second, I'm sorry. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any nays? Motion carries. Christy Grant and Greenman. Ms. 
this is an off year, so it's just a continuation of that. And we include the full grant license. I'm going to be eight on two. I've been four people tonight. Take the record. <laughs> <laughs> I make a motion to approve the Christie grant. Is this the same amount? It's, 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 it's agreed upon every two it's years, right? Yeah.
the community people that come out and watch the kids come in. And, uh, just shows a lot of the different aspects of the community coming together. Also, just seeing the community come together for the school district is really starting to. When we go to the Chamber of Commerce meetings and we go to things, we start seeing the community getting out of school. Uh, so just want you see those folks, we appreciate it. Any training? Yes, Mr. There's really no training report tonight, but I'm here mainly just to get your input and talk a little bit about next steps for training, what you all want to talk about, what you want to look at. I know several of you all are going to the KSBA Summer Leadership Institute in Lexington on July 7th and 8th. While you're there, you will have the opportunity to listen to the Education Commissioner, Stephen Pruitt. He will be there talking about new legislative issues, regulations, and all the details, some more details of what's happened in Franklin this year. Um, you'll also have the opportunity to receive your training on ethics, finance, and superintendent evaluation, those mandated topics. So um, we need to talk about what you want to do next here. After your meeting with Floyd County in April, Several of you mentioned on those little pink evaluation forms that I do, um, that you'd like, you're interested in having some training possibly on a review of the e-meeting. Uh, we can get KSBA to come and review the e-meeting process if you'd like. But several times it was mentioned um, that you'd like to discuss setting goals, particularly some current 21st century goals. Um, we also talked about reviewing your vision and mission goals that were set here early last August um, and even before that. Then also you had set as a board when you did the self-evaluation process, you set some um, goals to focus on for this year that were on vision-directed planning, community engagement, and then using data for continuous improvement and accountability. So there are a lot of different areas that you can focus on if you want, but if you all are interested in setting up the date, June 5th or 6th maybe, if possible, then you can either tell me tonight what topic you are interested in, or you can think about it and send me an email the first day next week, and I can communicate with April, and you all can communicate with her, and figure out a plan. Are we going to pull the chief? Are we going to pull the chief? Are we going Well, well, we were just discussing the topic. I think the, I think the goal of revisiting goals would be a good one, actually, um, before the school year starts, so yeah. we can. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah, I think that would be a good one. Just revisiting the, the goals, maybe setting some new ones. Mm -hmm. we'll choose to. Yeah. Hey, that hey, which day are we going to? The fifth and sixth. Well, okay. I'm up and up. I say fifth. We. Monday, Monday. Most of the time, afternoons, my kiddos don't have anything going on on Mondays. Every other day of the week, there's five thirty. Is Monday? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to do it on Tuesday? Yeah. Is it, is it no, the sixth of the month. Okay, the sixth. Okay. 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 Current goal statements, see where you want to head next. We'll that. That works. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Short sweet. Yep. Right, Marcy? Yes. Yes, she's ready. I don't know if she's done I'll, I'll wait. Well, we didn't get to be trained on the video of the baby, so I wanted to be trained. This is Crowley question. The training, when is the training coming up? In July, it's July 7th and 8th. Is it in Lexington? It's in Lexington at the Marriott Griffin Gate. And the registration, I do not believe, is open yet. Okay. It should be 
Hopefully by the end of next week. Well, they, I assume they'll be sending information. They will. Okay. I'm sorry, Jeremy. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> you're just standing up there. I've got. I've just got three talking points, so it's not even okay. one. The uh, teachers are currently participating in their end of the year work days. We've been having trainings on the 15 grade fixes, uh, journeys, go math, direct explicit instruction, Google Docs training, and closing day activities. So they're really busy. It's not like we're just putting in days, put in days. So um, our STEAM Academy will begin next week, May 23rd through the 26th. I'm very pleased to announce that Botts Elementary School has five teachers who will be teaching during the camp. They are Ms. Kelsey, Ms. Mudd, Ms. May, uh, Mr. Terry, and Mr. Bean. And last, I want to congratulate our new site-based members who will begin their job on July 1. They are Keisha Cornett, Kelly Botts, they're both parent reps, uh, Emily Kelsey, Kristen Cantrell, and Jim Bean as teacher members. Questions? All right. Uh, Charlie, wow. Question. Yeah. <laughs> Much, so I'm going to talk a long time. <laughs> of course, before she does get started, I would like to personally thank this will be Miss Thorpe's last board meeting, and I would like to personally thank you for the services that you provided to the students of Minnesota County. And I'd just like to say I wish you the best in your future endeavors, and thank you for what you've done for our students and community. Um, I appreciate that, and um, I'm truly thankful for the year that I've had at Minnesota Elementary. I have in January, I said my brain is full. Nothing else can go in there, and um, I've learned I've learned twice as much since January. I couldn't imagine um, having been placed in a better situation for my first year as principal. Um, I made promises at the beginning of the year that I would be here until you carried me out, but um, circumstances have changed. I uh, made promises without information, uh, but I do appreciate your confidence in me, and it's it's been a wonderful experience, and when I talk about Menifee County, it's not going to be in a negative manner. Um, I'm just thankful to have been here, and I, I do appreciate that. Um, and there's a lot of tears and a lot of prayer before I, before I decided to resign. Uh, I, do believe that Miss Means is a formidable leader and I think that she will um, fill in the gaps where they're needed and and I just think that the site base and Mr. Spencer and Ms. Rawlings, I think they made the right choice for Minifee Elementary. Um, but as far as my school, my last update on my school, um, we gave away two bicycles. Um, we gave away money for perfect attendance. Um, and we had nine students with perfect attendance, no tardies, anything like that. And nine students distinguished across the board. I'm sorry, we had more than that for perfect attendance. I'm getting my numbers mixed up. But we had several with perfect attendance, and we had nine students with distinguished across the board. And with distinguished across the board, um, in the past, PTO has been able to buy an expensive gift, um, but you usually don't have that many. So um, this year we we um, we gave gift cards uh, from PTO for those students. Uh, but back to the attendance, uh, we also gave away two bicycles that were donated, and they were um, Damian Wolford and I can't remember the girl's name. Mm -hmm. uh, and they will pick up their bicycles on. Um, the 23rd on Tuesday and so I'll have uh, a picture for the website and for the newspaper and uh, we had put their names all in the container again and that's how and Miss 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 Bridget Adams actually filmed the process so she could possibly put that on the website or Facebook but then something happened I don't know but we have two winners of bicycles um, we were uh, glad to have the inflatables. The students enjoyed those and the weather cleared up in time that all the students that were in school were able to participate. Um, the Wildcat Warriors is a very proud moment for those students and um, I hope that that is something that, that can continue with 
with the students because the citizenship award is a big deal and it encompasses a lot of students that may not necessarily <clears throat> excuse me may not necessarily um, get an academic award or an athletic award but these are just all around good kids um, and uh, I think that's all I have we've, we've um, done a lot of things in the past couple of weeks since the last weeks of school and, and the last week of school is out and so again I thank you for the opportunity and um, we'll see what the future holds for me and for me <laughs> I would just like to add, and I think Mr. McNabb would agree, uh, Megan Lane has been hired as coordinator for our STEAM camp, and she's a first-year teacher, and she has done an amazing job. Um, I see major leadership capabilities in her with our district, and she's worked with Ms. Barkley and, and um, Mr. and Mrs. Hacker with transportation, and, and uh, me and Mr. McNabb, and she has organized basically everything. Um, on her own, so she is. Uh, I just wanted to give a shout out to her because she's done an amazing job. On too. top of planning a wedding. On top of planning. <laughs> how many? Before you sit down, how many students do Mr. Mayor have for the novice reduction campaign? We have seventy-two confirmed. Seventy-two confirmed students. Seventy-two confirmed between the two schools. So then we have fifty for the high school. Just in the ACT campus, we have um, about thirty. 35, 35 at the um, next week we'll have 140 kids in there. So almost over 10% of your population. That's one of the same area. And then have camps all summer long. Okay. This means also uh, I commend Ms. Thorpe for uh, allowing this to occur. But she also has served on the interview committee uh, with uh, some new staff members. And I think they'll be making a recommendation tomorrow, I would assume for some hires uh, for the upcoming school year that we will announce as soon as they make those final recommendations over to me. So if you all would send those over and we'll get those out before we can continue to report. Does anyone have any questions on time next council we look toward the school activity fund? Okay, so we're down to communication to Sherry. Does anyone have anything they want to say? Before you, before you leave, just take a few moments to stop out and look at the youth salute. Go ahead, I'll it down. Go ahead. Are you go ahead. No, go ahead. It's a community. I was, just look at the youth salute. Those kids, uh, we have 12 kids. We're getting, our numbers are increasing in that. They have to meet certain standards to do that. and have to have a good grade point average. They have to be involved in community and school activities. And then they get to go to that free photo shoot. And those, we're going to move those tomorrow to our courthouse so that people can see those across our county. But just stop and look at the kids, read what things, activities that they're involved in, and, and congratulate them if you see them. I'm sorry, Mr. Stone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to just have you with us that it's written down. <laughs> that number was right. My biology number was right. You know that's where my father put it. Lori and I have a problem. We know. <laughs> well, there's no further community sharing. If I could recommend that everything will be sent off to the and this means I need to see you in the morning. Uh-oh. I need to see you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>